So I've received several hundred emails and Facebook messages asking me uh, what uh, the fermentation process looks like uh, for beer. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, this. Um, basically this is just sitting on my floor uh, in a corner here next to my fridge. Um, and this is a Killian's clone, uh, Killian's red clone that I did uh, yesterday. And uh, this is a six and a half gallon glass container, uh, carboy. And what you see going on uh, inside there is a kind of a violent, uh, nasty storm. The first time, if you've never seen this before, it, it's pretty intense. I mean, it, the chemistry is is pretty pretty cool actually. Um, and uh, if you've ever been to a microbrewery or even a big, uh, you know, a big commercial brewery, you know, usually you know you don't get to see this stuff because they they put that stuff in their big stainless steel. Uh, fermentation vessels, uh, conicals, um, that you have probably seen, uh, you know, if you've ever been to any local brewery. Um, so you don't get to see this, but this is what's going on inside there, and this takes place for about 10 days. Um, and basically what's happening right now is, uh, during the brew process where we uh, pulled all the sugars out of our grains and uh, did all that, uh, we then transferred it to this container and threw some yeast in there, and what's happening is the yeast is eating the sugars and pooping out alcohol. And that is how beer is made. Uh, really very simple. Uh, what we'll do, uh, this will go on for about seven to ten days and what we'll do after that is we'll uh, transfer it to a, a five and a half gallon carboy. And because this is not going to be spewing like this and, and basically, uh, you know, this, this is just done so we don't blow this thing up. Um, and it uh, basically helps uh, that secondary primary, that secondary fermentation after this basically gets rid of all this stuff you see going on in there and basically makes the beer clear. I mean, this is all, hey, this is yeast cake, uh, as they say. There's uh, hops, uh, there's some other stuff that, in there from the brew process that, that uh, is kind of floating around there right now. Um, but basically, uh, we'll transfer it over to that other container for another two weeks. Um, and then we'll transfer it to bottles or kegs for consumption uh, and that'll be about two weeks later so all in all you're looking about uh, six to week six weeks to seven weeks after all is said and done for a basic brew um, and no don't worry this this is not dirty equipment uh, we sanitize everything um, here at the brewery and basically this is just uh, this is just leftover uh, remnants of this red nasty stuff here, um, which is iodophore, which is uh, basically an iodine that's used to uh, clean and sanitize. Well, it's really to sanitize. We we clean with some other uh, cleaners, but uh, so this is just basically stained from from that. That's why it looks brown and dirty, but it's really not. So anyway, that is uh, that's your beer fermentation process, and this is usually this is always kept in the dark. Um, so I'll put this blanket back over it and keep it dark because uh, beer and light really don't really go well. Um, so that's just a word to the wise if you're at a beer store and, and you see some beer on the, um, on the shelf. It's all dusty underneath all those bright fluorescent lights. Um, that beer is probably not very good uh, to begin with uh, if they've been doing that because beer and light just really don't mix well. So anyway, that's it. Over and out.